Welcome to the basics of HomeZada's home inventory. We're here at the Get Started page where you can see three key steps we recommend to create your inventory. Let's go on a tour of the home inventory features. We'll start by selecting the inventory menu on the top navigation bar. One of the great time-saving features of HomeZada is that when you initially create your property, HomeZada predicts the common rooms and inventory items in your home eliminating a lot of data entry. On the left-hand side of the screen, you see a lot of the rooms that HomeZada has predicted that are in your home. In the center of the screen are those same rooms with a mini dashboard with some additional information about those rooms. And in the upper right-hand corner is a property profile with a visual icon that shows you how far along you are in terms of creating your overall property profile. And in the lower right is a section called Quick Actions, which are a series of steps that help you streamline building your home inventory process. With that, let's drill down into the kitchen. In the upper right hand corner, you can see that there are a number of attributes where you can start to identify the items in your kitchen. For instance, when you click on this pencil icon, you could actually type in the paint color in your kitchen. On the lower part of the screen, you can see that HomeZada has already pre-populated with all the items that are typically found in a kitchen, again, minimizing that data entry. Back up at the top, we can actually add photos to our inventory. We can hit the Add Photo button, and then scroll down, and then we hit the Add Files button. We're going to search our local hard drive for the pictures that we've taken of our home, select the kitchen, and then basically upload the photo. Now you can see that the photo has been uploaded. Now, when you look at your home, some of the predictions that HomeZada had may not be entirely accurate. So you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, there's a space called the second hallway. Let's pretend that your house doesn't have a second hallway. You can easily go up to the upper right-hand corner and choose to delete the space, which is going to delete not only that space, but the two items that were already in it. Likewise, if you look at the left-hand side of the rooms that are already there, you may have a different room that's specific to your house that's not there. You can easily add your own space by clicking the Add Space button. And let's say that your house has a game room. You can easily type that information in, hit Save, and your game room has been created. You can also rename a room. So for instance, if I go to bedroom two, oftentimes people may want to rename the room by putting a person's name. So we'll call this Sam's room. Again, customizing HomeZada is that simple. Let's go back to all spaces where we can see now that our photo of the kitchen has been uploaded and let's actually drill down into the kitchen again. And just like we could delete a space that didn't apply, we can also delete inventory items that don't apply. So for instance, your kitchen may not have an exhaust fan. It's very easy to click on the X on the right hand side of the screen and just delete that exhaust fan. If we scroll down, you can see that we can page to the next page where we can see that there are lots of items in our kitchen. And similarly, we can click on any item and drill down into the details of, for instance, the refrigerator. Again, in the upper right hand corner, we can start to edit the attributes for the refrigerator. So you can click on, let's say you purchased this refrigerator a month ago. And you can select the date and you can enter in the value of your refrigerator. And you can see all these other forms that you can fill in in terms of the manufacturer, the model, the serial number, lots of these details. These are all entirely up to you or one whether it's applicable or not. You can choose to use these fields or not at your discretion over how you would like to use the overall feature. Also, you can upload photos of your refrigerator, just like we uploaded photos on the space by clicking the Photos tab and then selecting additional photos. Or you can also upload documents, like an owner's manual. So you might want to say, I've got my GE manual. And I want to hit Add File. And just like we did before, we're going to select the file and maybe I've got a PDF of my GE's owner's manual. I'm going to start the upload. 
Now you can see that I've uploaded a PDF of my owner's manual. You can also add links if you want to link to other websites which may actually have the owner's manual. Link to a website. Put a little description in there. And then you basically copy and paste a URL and you choose add link this time. Now you've created a link to a separate website. Let's go back to the kitchen again. And just like you could add spaces, you can also add net new items. You can collect the add item button in the upper portion of the form or the quick add on the right hand side of the screen. And when you click that, let's say you have a computer in your kitchen, you could type in computer, assign it to a particular inventory type, and again, start tracking whichever these details are important to you as it relates to your overall inventory. If we go back to the property all spaces page, let's focus on the property profile on the right. Here we can click on the green house icon, which will take you to the overall property description when you created a new property in Homes Auto with the name and address and the rooms, etc. Likewise, you can upload all of your important property documents. Just like we updated an owner's manual, you could update and upload all of your appraisals or floor plans or insurance policies or property documents or any other important property documents to Homes Auto right here. You can also upload photos. Just like we uploaded the photo of the kitchen, we can actually upload photos perhaps of the outside of your house, which once we do that, we'll end up showing those things in the dashboard areas of the application. Let's go back to the inventory. Now you can see that I've got a picture of the outside of my house and my property complete is nearly 30% complete. Our recommendation is to take a room by room approach in building your overall inventory. And that is the end of the basic Homes Auto home inventory tour.